Welcome back to Panthe Plays Medieval Dynasty. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be your host for this episode. And first things first, if you don't have something to drink next to you right now, just go and fetch something. Because I'm going to take a sip of something to drink right now. Isotonic lemonade. Mm. Okay. This is important. It is important to stay hydrated. And you will hear me taking a drink multiple times during the episode. And how about making this a drinking game? Whenever you hear me drink, take a sip of your favorite carbonated or non carbonated, hot or cold, but a non alcoholic beverage to stay hydrated. If you want to have some alcohol, I would suggest finding something else to make an alcohol drinking game out of, but still, stay hydrated, have a glass of water or something else to drink next to it, that also helps with not having a headache tomorrow. <clears throat> because in 90% of the time, the headache is from uh, dehydration. This is so nice, the shadow. I'm looking nice, my shadow's looking nice, what a team! This way, team. Well, actually, let's not just run off anywhere. We don't have any quests right now. But we want to still try and successfully flirt with a woman, which means we need to run to the other side of the river. This foggy, misty day makes me imagine I am currently in England, although I have to tell last time that I actually have been there <clears throat> was pretty weird because I went there, came out of the airport and it was not foggy at all. It was a sunny and warm day and I have to admit I was a little bit disappointed because of course here in Germany you always hear how foggy it is and that it's always either raining or being foggy and then when I go over to Birmingham excuse me that's because of the carbonation um, of course when I go to Birmingham the first day the first thing that I see is it is a warm day I need to take off my um, pullover because it is so warm of course, honestly, I don't complain. I actually like warm weather more than cold weather. Because in cold weather I always freeze, no matter how thickly I'm clothed. So the onion layer principle does not work for me. This is correct, yes. When I talk, I tend to... Um, walk in any direction and not notice that I'm walking in the wrong direction, so I just checked the map. So yeah, that was my first time in the UK, my only time in the UK for now. But it won't be my last, because I've been too confuzzled back then, and damn, once all this COVID stuff is over, I will, and by over, of course, I mean when you can go and travel and stuff like that. <clears throat> I don't believe that uh, the sickness itself will ever be gone for it completely, or at least not in my lifetime, but it will be, let's say, bearable for society. Um, like, the outcome won't be that harsh anymore. Okay, we are over cucumbered, let us just make some knives. Seven knives and have something to drink while we wait. So I went to Confuzzle, my first furry, con furry convention. And as I said, my first impression was disappointment, but then happiness because it was so warm. Of course, the next day it rained, which was okay. I brought an umbrella just because I knew that I was going to be okay. And it was a really awesome time. Honestly, I did cry the whole flight back home. Whole flight back home, that is. 
And yes, there are also two more conventions, furry conventions, in the UK that I plan to attend at some point in time. <clears throat> Let's real quick sell these to Felibor. All except for one. And maybe check he does not have something to eat. Okay, let us see. That woman. That woman. That woman that I need to talk to is up by the campfire. No, there's also, um, I think, was it Furcation or Further Confusion? I think it was Furcation. Was the name. And the other one is like a private con from some like, let's say private community thing. I won't say more because I have to give away details which are going to be a surprise for someone else. So I'm I'm sorry I can't say it right now, but I will be able to say at some point in time. Anyway, do you have a minute, Huberta? Do you have do you have any tips for hunting? And now we got above 60% approval. This means she has an actual has an affection, which means we can try and flirt with her. Mm. I admire your dedication to your work. You deserve the highest praise for it. And that was the quest. Actually, I'm going to try and save again. Uh, eat and try that. Have you heard any gossip? No, those two should be negative for her. Uh, will she? No, she needs approval of 70, so we need to go here again at some point in time. Which is good, we should wait until the next season. Wow, I said season immediately instead of month. So I planned to uh, <coughs> to put the hunting lodge. Oh yeah, right. So the next chapter unlocked, and we should uh, construct. First of all, we have now a building limit of nine, and we should construct a hunting lodge, and hunt some foxes and bears. And that's what I did last time. So what I'm going to do is build the hunting lodge uh, map. There we go. Up here in the woods close to the second bridge and yes I know I'm going to, to quench my thirst right now because that's easy as for the hunger I will need to hunt something for that oh let me see I should have no. should have could have we will survive this. I'm pretty sure. So that was the first bridge. We will head along the road until we meet the second bridge. And then we will build a hunting lodge. So once I have all that set up, I want to go into the, actually into fishing as quickly as possible. I don't want to kill the animals of the land, I want to kill the animals of the river. There we go, let us head inside here. Find a nice spot for our hunting lodge. How about here by these trees? This of course means we need to first kill those trees. have a shovel in our inventory but not set to our I guess host stick nope can we just make one uh, blind and no it does not seem like that so we need to run back because we need to remove the stumps or else we can't build that building 
to go. Ah, berries, perfect. That's what I meant. We can just collect these. These make a fine emergency ration. As you can see, we already have 62, and that was also the, let's say, the exploit, the imbalance in the game. You could get berries really, really quickly, and by now we would have had <coughs> over 80 gold already, and of course, this is an, like an unacceptable, unacceptable speed, but now I can enough berries to eat my way until I got at least so yeah I'm going to eat all of those berries right now just to get that hunger meter up which of course is not very good and I know I could there are recipes that make berries into better things but I don't have them right now I'm basically still in the first year and ha don't have much um, now I have the German word in my head freigeschaltet um, unlocked that's the term you're using you use in English I don't even have the soup unlocked because I could not make it right now because I never had cabbage. With the cabbage will be in a few days, like to this day and tomorrow, and then the day afterwards we can harvest the cabbage. Because now we have to check is should be in here in one of the there in one of the chests. I'm going to also transfer the hammers because I'm going to build something. back and I know that the hunters have to, I, I guess the hunters will have to walk to the hunter lodge that triggered me here that little sound effect sounded like an attack in Morrowind which I've been playing lately Sound pretty winded here. And get back to our construction site. So we need to assign a number to the shovel. That was the knife. I want the shovel, please. Why didn't this work? Ah, I need to click the shovel first. Now it works. There it is. And now we can remove that stump, which stops us from placing our building here. I think that should already be enough. Um, although we, we need six logs, I think, for the building. So I'll take down this tree also. check if that's enough and as you can see there is already game here I want to have hunting yeah, I need one more log so I need to kill one more tree <coughs> and I gained a level in extraction uh, again, I'm going to spend that spell, that spell, that skill point on gaining extraction skills faster. So I'm going to take this. 
this lord because it's more in where I want to build the building. And let us see, let's take everything that's laying around here, even though we're currently pretty slow. Like this. And see if we can't build our building lodge, our hunting lodge over here. Yes, we can. There it is. A nice little hunting lodge. And now we will need to inventory. Use the first hammer. Put it into some kind of slot so we can select it. And first wall is done. We need more logs, but luckily we don't want those trees to regrow. But as far as I understood, the growth will regrow if you leave the stumps there. So let me just do this. Take, also take the sticks. And this should be... That was one hammer. So I took both and started with a broken one. And now we have that. We can simply harvest another tree. This axe is also nearly done. Let's hope it survives this tree. Yes, it does. It might not. Because we accidentally hit it with one too many, but we already in for our foresight built another axe. Let's collect these. Also there we go. <clears throat> Back to the hammering. anymore. Not to worry, there are plenty of sticks around. They're just waiting for us to pick them up. So, 27 sticks. Let's see. I walked the wrong, the wrong way across, did I? Yeah, I missed a log. Rather, I need a log. Which means we need to harvest another tree. No, we don't need to harvest another tree. This one is too close to our hut anyway. So let's simply remove that completely. Now the walls are all done. Now we need for here. We need sticks. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And for the ceiling, we need four logs and 32 of. Uh. Yeah, hey, thing. I don't remember the English word right now. Which is good if you're doing a let's play in English. Well, anyway, that what that stuff is on the other side of the river. We'll just run across, follow the river bank, and there it. No, that's not it. Could be. Let me let me try that. I'm curious. If I use the sickle, let me assign it to, to number seven. If I use the sickle, can I then? No, I can't. I can't harvest that at all. We need to run over to where our town is. There is something else here on the riverbank that we can harvest, and we need 32 of these. Straw, that was the word I was looking for. 32 of straw for our roof. 
we just quickly harass here. side it is. <sighs> I really love the graphics in this game. This, e even though it is hard work and I'm not cut out to do hard work like this, this actually looks like f just from the looks of it, from the aesthetics, it looks so much like vacation to me. And there we go, the hammer. He was panting hard. Let's reward him by all taking a sip from our favorite non-alcoholic beverage to stay hydrated, people. <sighs> and if you don't have your favorite beverage at hand, your second favorite or whatever you are currently having at hand does the trick as well. Four more logs should do the trick. One, two. Ooh, this can regrow. I don't want to deforest the whole wood. Is complete and we have a workbench we have a barrel in which we can cure stuff and we have a little storage here so now we only need to hunt some foxes and boars but before we do this I'm going to hunt this doe that's interesting normally when I approach them even though not sneaking they just stand there and wait for me to clobber them well there's a fox here who is not going to run away that is, he is going to run away because I'm not going to hit the him properly because I'm an idiot. Swinging too early. That's what I mean. <laughs> Got three hits. That one really is stronger. The axe is stronger than the spear. I'm sorry, little doe, but we do need your meat in order to survive ourselves. And it's pretty sad that I need to kill the foxies, because they are so cute, but um, that is the mission currently. <coughs> now you see how weak the spear is. So sad, the poor little fox, honestly. But this is basically the main story quest here. And one other thing that we're going to do is build ourselves a campfire, which is in the category of not extraction, it's decoration. There campfires firewood we don't have an ability to craft firewood yet so we're simply going to make a small little 
campfire that you can light up and roast a little bit of meat on. little bit I mean all of it because we need to eat and you need to drink okay, here we go one two three four five six okay, all that done let us head back, or let us start creating a little pathway that is uh, in the queue menu, road from here to to the other road and since we're going to run across just right across I'm going to just go across like this also where you see perfect and now we can just go back home with that deed done water and head back so that was a good second day we completed that mission we built the hunting lodge now we're just hunting foxes and boars Sounds always uh, play in a way, so I think there's someone next walking next to me. But well, one thing that we can also do is just create. I now remember, for some reason, we did not set up a new rabbit trap. But now we can go to bed, and I can say this was K Panthe Place Medieval Dynasty for this week. We see each other next week. Bye-bye.